Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome to today's session of Certified Ethical Hacking. First of all, starting this session at 8 p.m. doesn't mean I will be starting saying exact at 8 p.m. If in case you are speaking, you are not audible. Just try to use common sense. Pranay Kumar Chaudhary Microbiology, Chennai. Great name. Try to be patient, everyone. Okay, so welcome to today's session of English class. So first of all, as there are 56 participants join this session, I would like to ask you all if you are able to hear me and able to see this screen as I do this every time, everyone. Great. First of all, I would like to have a five to 10 minutes of question and answer session to you all with you all. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me. And do not try to ask any silly doubts. So anyone any doubts? as we completed our three modules of okay, where to get recorded session of previous classes. Sunil Kumar, it's already shared in the Telegram channel, the link of the Google Drive. Do we need a Wi-Fi adapter for Kali? Sanidhya Gupta, uh, it's not necessary as if you are having your Wi-Fi in your own laptop, it's not necessary. If Kali Linux is not uh, this thing, searching your Wi-Fi, in that case, you may need an adapter. I lost user ID while installing Linux. How to recover the same? Well, Bhushan, you cannot recover that because for that you need to reinstall the whole operating system back. Delete the uh, current one, reinstall it with the new one. Okay, so I would like to have a five minutes of word with you all. So as there are some complaints regarding a lot of students that a lot of you joined a WhatsApp group. In WhatsApp group, a lot of students are there who are trying to speak negative about the tutor about the study structure and uh, we got names of all those students so their registration will be cancelled before sunday as it was against our privacy policy okay and we are getting few queries over the emails and over the uh, whatsapp that it's been one month and only six classes happened. So the class started on 19th of December. It doesn't mean that whole December, the class was there. So I request those students who try, who are trying to ask this type of silly questions to try to use their common sense. Okay, you are studying ethical hacking topic here. It's not LKG, UKG, first standard, second standard that you were doing here. And these type of stuffs really bother me because one of you was also trying to talk negative about the tutor, about buying a sports bike, fraud company, fraud uh, courses. So these type of things really bothers a company. If you were attending a course, it's, it doesn't mean that you will be completing the whole course in five to 10 days. Okay. You have not paid for international Institute of technology, IIT, NIT, that you will be getting a whole bunch of faculties, whole bunch of materials. You will be getting a limited resources with limited teaching facilities. Sorry to say, but it really bothers. 
so apart from that those who really uh, understand the meaning of this syllabus the meaning of this course at the price which we are offering yes there are some things which needs to be improved but that doesn't means that the company is fraud what if when the geo was introduced at a free price tag why not at that time was saying it was a fraud so if some company is trying to good to do some good thing in the market try to appreciate that because a fraud tag is a tag which makes a company feel down so i can see a lot of students also gave review that this company is fraud why because the class didn't happened on 14th of january it was clearly mentioned that on 14th of january because of makar sankranti the holiday was there so it was national holiday even the offices were closed so i would like to ask those students who have this type of problem to rectify with the support team not to post directly over the social media okay so so anyone having any doubts from the model number 3 the scanning networks anyone oh sorry uh from model number 2 the footprinting and uh, pen testing sorry this one recognizance rajesh we don't have any whatsapp group i was saying the whatsapp group create cre creation of any whatsapp group is ill so those who are into some other third party groups it's strictly prohibited so anyone having any doubt about printing and recognizance i think we need to start scanning networks the second mo or the third module i tried doing sublist 3 year practical but i am unable to install it on kali linux don't worry akash i will be doing a practical in the scanning networks module here i will show you how yes razin uh, razin i will also use inspy in the practical well you all know that during hacking ethical hacking there are certain phases which you need to do put printing reconnaissance scanning maintaining access gaining access and all okay my voice is not clear can anyone let me know if the voice is really not clear or is there any issue everyone yes it will break because there are some network issue here because of rainy day it's clear now everyone okay so let me start with it in the recording it will be clear so try to concentrate maybe it's because of bad weather and network issues so let us start so four phases are there for printing reconnaissance scanning Man, gaining access and maintaining access one more step is there clearing logs so footprinting scanning network and enumeration these three modules only talks about the scanning and uh, up to the uh, footprinting and scanning part okay so why the footprinting practical is uh, so small because the tools whatever we will be using in footprinting and reconnaissance and scanning network is same so what we'll be doing is we'll be combining the practical lab of these two modules at same time so today we will be covering out the scanning networks theory module and in the next session we will be doing the practical of nmap in kali linux hping2 hping3 inspy sublist uh, 3r and lot of other tools in kali linux okay So today we will be going with scanning networks. Why I am doing this is because for printing and recognition does does not have that much of tools. So wasting a total one hour of class in just having practical of 
two or three softwares is not a good, uh, great move. So what we'll be doing is we will be combining the practicals of scanning networks and footprinting and reconnaissance in a single class. Clear? Why footprint is need to hack? Well, Rahul, whenever you try to do anything, you must have some basic information about the target. If you don't have basic information about the target, how you will perform the hacking? Well, it's not possible. Okay. So first you need to gather out some information about the target. Then only you can perform the further activities. Videos are not on Telegram channel. Surya, the video is uploaded over the Google Drive. The drive link is shared in the Telegram channel. Just click on that. You will be seeing class by class folders. Okay, so let's start with the scanning network. So why scanning is needed? Well, footprinting is not enough. Okay, footprinting is not enough. In footprinting, we just get overview of different, different kind of information. Just overview, a little bit of information about the domain, about the server, that's all. Scanning is important because it goes in depth of the server or the network. Footprinting was just overview and scanning is for in-depth uh, this thing, information gathering. So in, in scanning, we try to gather out information by going deeply into the network. So we try to gather information such as ports, closed ports, operating system they are using and different, different uh, sensitive details, which makes the attacker easier to find out the vulnerability, which means the bugs, the errors, the uh, whatever the things which is needed to do the exploit. Okay. Clear to everyone. Okay. So what are the concepts of scanning the network? First, we will be looking into this. That why do we need network scanning? Then what is the importance uh, of network scanning? Then tools used in network scanning. Then techniques for network scanning. Then what is IDS and what is firewall? Okay. The importance of intrusion detection system and the importance of firewall. This will be seeing what is banner grabbing how to draw a network diagram and the last pen testing. These things we will be seeing in this model. Okay, so everyone is complaining about voice not clear. Can anyone let me know if it's still like this or it's breaking? Okay, so I told you this is a network issue. Don't worry, sorry for the inconvenience calls, but let us see in the recording you can get a click, uh, you can get a clear overview. So let us start with the concepts. So why network scanning is important? Because to gather out some information. Now, how it is done? So you can see here, this is the attacker in this, in this picture. This is the attacker and this is the network. So how the scanning is done is the attacker sends a communication uh, message or request to the network and the network sends some information back to the attacker as a response. Now, what type of details we need to send? Well, some type of details which a user sends generally. Because network is not able to find out who are attackers and who are general customers or general users. Network does not have the capacity or the feature to filter out those things. So what we do is we create some fake packets, fake information, and we send it over to the network. The network renders the data, the uh, request, and send the response based on the asked questions. This is how network scanning processes. The attacker sends the request, the network sends the response. Okay. 
Now, what is the objective of network scanning? What are the real objectives behind doing the network scanning? To find out live host. Okay. Suppose we are able to find out a network which is vulnerable. We don't know what type of details it carries. So first, we need to find out is there is some live host network, the IP address of the network, how many ports are open in the network, what operating system they are using, what system architecture they are using, what services they are running on the host, and is there having some vulnerabilities or not? These details we need to fetch using the scanning process. Okay, this is the scan objective of the scanning. Now, many of you must be wondering. Why do we need these kind of details? Why do not we directly hack the system? Well, how you will be hacking if you don't know these things? You cannot. It's not possible for you without these details. I hope it's clear to everyone. Now, whenever we try to use internet and whenever we try to use a website or application or whenever you try to use any mobile app in your smartphone, Every time a communication is established between the server and your device. Now to establish the communication, TCP IP protocol is used. Okay. So transfer control protocol and internet protocol. I hope everyone is aware about TCP IP. Let me in the live chat. Okay. So if I transferred over the internet, a TCP connection is established. Okay. Suppose you are trying to upload a photo online, or if you are trying to upload a video on YouTube. So before uploading the video, you need to establish a connection with the servers of YouTube. How that happens? TCP IP communication being established between your device and a YouTube server. After that, you will be able to upload video. Now, why the TCP communication is important? Because to check if the server is live or not. Okay. So in TCP IP, the session establishment generally happens with a three-way handshake. Okay, you can see three-way handshake is to establish the connection. Now, how it is done? Suppose user A wants to connect with the server here with the help of internet. So user will be asking, I would like to connect with you on port number 21. Now the server will server will send a response that yes, I'm open at 21. You can connect. Now the user will again send a request. Okay. Thanks. I will be connecting. This is a three way handshake. Okay. Ask if the server is alive, get a response. Yes or no. If yes, send reply. Okay. Thanks. After that, the data will be uploaded and then the TCP session termination is very, very important. Whenever a connection is established, it needs to be terminated also. Okay. So user will be sending a, a request that I am done with the data transfer. Everything is done from my side. The server will send a response. Okay. I'm terminated. And I also received your data and the uh, user will be again sending the request. Okay. Thanks. This is how termination works. This is how the establishment work. This is how termination work. This is a simple concept of networking. Okay. There's no need of these things, but you need to understand how a software is working in the background. A real hacker is a person who knows how the software works, not one who just use a software to perform hacking. So if you want to be a real hacker, a real ethical hacker, you need to know that how a software works, how a website works, what is going on in the back end. Clear? So let me give you an example of this using a real life example. Let us example of WhatsApp. If you are trying to send message to your friend, you have sent the message. It will be single tick. If the user, the friend is not having his internet on, it will be single tick which means he's sending the request that I am trying to send you a message. Okay. If the internet of the user will be on, the, uh, it will be double tick, which means the user received the message. So the use you, you will be receiving a response in the manner, in the form of 
double tick that the your friend has received the message now when it when it will be confirmed that the user had seen the message it will be double tick with a blue mark which means it's delivered as well as read uh, read by the user so three way hand trick this is how it is done okay now suppose let us take a scenario where the connection will be uh, this thing rejected in which case so if, as you can see here i would like to connect with you on port number 21 are you open so right now it is success but when it will be failed when your friend or the second users internet will be uh, sorry when your internet will be off so what you can see is you will be seeing a timer icon that your message has not been sent yet which means you are having some internet issue or network issue so this is how it works clear to everyone how tcp communication works so try to understand this three way communication handshake and termination now how the scanning takes place so generally a server is not able to verify if a user who is sending the request is genuine or a fraud what happens in that case we need to build custom packets i hope everyone knows about packets anyone packets yes a lot of users know know about packets so whenever we try to send the information over the server it is sent in a form of packet okay suppose you are sending a data to the server now the say, the data will be in the manner of in the mode of pack, packets the packets will be sent over the network and the server will process the data so whatever you send over the internet whatever right now we are doing right now i'm taking the class over zoom right now i am hosting the session i am live the screen is being shared so it's being shared in the manner of packets a lot of packets are being transferred over the internet and your device is receiving those uh, responses in the manner of packets this is how it works so what you will be doing is what the attacker will be doing is the attacker will be creating a custom packet which means packet crafting in which the packet the packets will be fake so the server will uh assume that the that the packets are being sent from a genuine user but they will be not they, they are not so the server will be confused that if it is a genuine user or attacker and the server will give the response back so how to create custom packets we will be seeing in the practical where we will be using a lot of tools for packet crafting so in the packet crafting we just try to put fake informations which will be understood by the server that it is a genuine user who is looking for something uh, some information that's all there will be no danger this is how packet crafting this is why packet crafting is very very important proceeding further so what tools we will be using in scanning network first nmap so as i told you all that nmap is a common tool and the very very popular tool also for scanning and for footprinting so first we will be having a practical over over nmap but not in gui i hope gui is clear to everyone which we used in windows which is nmap nmap will be doing in cali linux cli this time okay then we will be using hping 2 hping 3 which is available in cali linux then we will be doing this net scans tool pro in windows so these tools we will be using for scanning out the whole network okay so everyone make sure your kali linux is installed so that in the next session there must be not there must be no problems so those who also want to try it over their phone they can also install ip scanner or ping or hackord or xanti or sysploit or facesniff or pod drive which is available for mobile phone also okay now what are the scanning techniques which we need to use 
before that you need to remember that what type of ports contains or hosts what type of services suppose uh, you are trying to scan a website and you are able to find out that port number 21 is vulnerable and you don't even know that port number 21 contains which type of service so what will be the benefit there will no benefit so you need to know that you that port number 21 contains which type of service so you need to remember each and every port number with their description clear to everyone i hope it's clear what is a port is everyone yes so go to page number 21 of your module number 3 page number 27 sorry 27 not 21 page number 27 and 28 of your module number 3 and have a look at all these ports port number 7 9 11 13 20 53 68 triple one all these ports number contains different different services page number 27 28 29 30 31 so go through these ports and try to understand each and every of them because it doesn't matter which type of vulnerabilities you you may get you need port runs which service suppose you get port number 6000 is vulnerable which means windows system is vulnerable so you can have that so it's very very important okay so service is requires different different protocols such as tcp ip udp icmp for different different protocols we use different different softwares for scanning okay for udp we use udp scanning techniques for tcp we use tcp scanning techniques for icmp we use icmp scanning techniques okay so it depends software to software so in the practicals, we will be using a lot of different kind of softwares in order to do different kind of activities. Generally, a lot of services of a network or websites use TCP IP communication. Okay, WhatsApp, Facebook, YouTube, a lot of websites, they use TCP IP communication, not the UDP and ICMP. I will also explain you why, where UDP and ICMP is used. Okay, but in uh, majority of the cases, TCP is used. Now, scanning beyond IDS and firewall. How many of you know about IDS? Okay. Full form of IDS is intrusion detection system. So intrusion detection system is used for detecting some outer rangers. Okay. I hope firewall is clear to everyone. Just like firewall, IDS is also used. IDS means intrusion detection system which is used for prevention from outer danger. Okay, outside of your laptops or desktops network, if there is a danger, suppose a virus or some intruder who is trying to attack on your system, they try to protect you from those. Okay, now if you are doing this scanning, how do you do all these things? If you're doing this scanning and if a virus is rejecting your request, well, you can evade the IDS and firewall. Okay. Just a second. So, how to evade those things? Evading means to uh, bypassing those things. So, first and the most important point is packet fragmentation. In packet fragmentation, what we do is we build the packets and uh, different different uh, this thing. Uh, suppose uh, if we want to send a packet having ten MB of total memory, we will be dividing it to into ten different different pieces, one MB of each, and then we will send it to the server. Now the firewall or the IDS won't detect if it is harmful or is there something wrong with the packets. It will allow the packets to transfer over the network. And after it is allowed, the packets reassembles themselves and we do the, it will uh, perform their actual work. So packet fragmentation is very, very important. That IP address decoy, IP address spoofing, proxy server is very, very important. Now what is IP address spoofing? 
spoofing means stealing someone else identity so suppose if firewall blocked your ip address because it thinks you are suspicious what you do is you can spoof someone else ip address which is authenticated and allowed to enter in the server so you can spoof the ip address and you can let yourself know as the actual authenticated person so the firewall firewall will allow you to enter the server and to communicate with the server so with the help of ip address spoofing you can do that then proxy server server will, will block your ip address you can block this server change your ip address regular, uh, regularly so the server will confuse with allow you to communicate with the ip address is spoofing proxy server and track, uh, packet fragmentations are very very important to evade the ids and the firewall okay everyone we can also use the concept of proxy chaining proxy chaining means to use a lot of proxies and to communicate with the server so here is the attacker we are using this much of proxies to communicate with the web server now in this case if you do something wrong server will not be able to detect it is coming from which type of ip there are six ip addresses here so it will be little confusing that which ip address you are using okay so like ip address bouncing uh, proxy chaining these all are same thing clear location bouncing everything so we'll also see how to do that a lot of tools are here proxy switcher proxy workbench so these all are already available in the 2200 set of tools which we will be giving you okay so don't worry about that there are some proxy tools for mobile also shadow socks proxy droid cyber ghost vpn is very very popular cyber ghost vpn you can use server ultimate hot hotspot shield net shade proxy manager these tools you can use okay but remember that we will not be giving you the links for the mobile apps okay in the tools you will be getting all the windows software in the 2200 set of tools let us proceed further orbot is uh, also one of the most important mobile app here how many of you heard about orbot yeah i think if you heard about tor you must have heard about orbot so tor stands for the onion route the onion route is the most secure and the most popular way to access uh dark web you can say so orbot is made for tor users who are uh, who the users who try to access tor websites use orbot so we will also have a discussion on uh, dark web deep web everything but not right now at, as we are doing the basic stuff here just the small small things now banner grabbing the fifth one what is banner grabbing so let me ask you first of all a question we receive a lot of updates regarding different different softwares lot of updates regarding different different operating system why do companies provide updates anyone why do companies provide updates yes bug fix patches introducing new features so if someone is using outdated version does that mean that they are vulnerable yes that's why companies ask to update you so banner grabbing means to find out the operating system of the target you are looking for okay so finding out the operating system is very very important that's why we were discussing in footprinting and scanning 
using nmap operating system is very very important so if you are able to find out operating system and suppose you are able to find out that its version is something outdated because no one is up to date okay not a single servers are up to date they may be 0.1 0.2 0.3 versions uh, below the actual updated one so if it is updated which means there are some issues maybe there are some things or some bugs in the previous version okay it doesn't matter if it is updated one month back or two months back there are some issues available that's where it makes attacker to look for the bugs over the internet suppose if windows 7 is there why windows 10 is introduced so it was 4 to 5 years back windows 7 was there now right now it's windows 10 but many of the users are using windows 7 which means they are vulnerable because windows 7 is having lot of issues which may make the system vulnerable to different kind of things okay in windows 10 also you may see a lot of updates in windows 10 weekly basis you may get a lot of notification that to update your windows 10 windows home windows professional whatever you are using because microsoft every time tries to do some patches to the bugs or the vulnerabilities which is discovered in the current version if you are not updating which means you are your system is vulnerable you are just trying to make your system available to the hackers so finding out the operating system is very very important so that is what we do under banner grabbing so banner grabbing is the technique to identify network host running versions of applications and operating systems so that we can exploit the system clear to everyone this banner grabbing okay so now how to do that we'll be talking on in practical okay drawing the network diagram now we did a lot of things we were able to find out a lot of we are we were able to do a lot of scannings of websites and applications in the theory part creating a diagram is very very important so that next time whenever you try to do something on the same network you may not need to remember everything you can just draw a diagram of the whole network that on node number 1 this services are running on node number 2 these services are running, uh, are running on node number 3 those services are running you can create a proper network diagram so that you must not forget anything that is the need of drawing the network diagrams okay any it doesn't mean that you need to carry a pencil and paper and you need to draw those things no we will be using tools here so we will be using so the first tool we will be using is network topology manager okay so using this tool we will be uh, will be uh, patching out the whole diagram of the server just enter out the ip address of the server it will fetch the whole network map what ip addresses they are having different different ports they are having on what on, on which port what type of services are running so so let us proceed further uh how many of you understand trace route yes okay trace route it's clear to everyone but not many of you trace uh, trace route means that whatever the thing you are trying to browse over the internet it travels to a particular route from your mobile phone ip address or your laptop ip address to the website's ip address which you are trying to use it goes the so address you getting is digital in the ip address or it comes under trace route so if you have used n map there is a column for trace route okay so in the column of trace route you can see that from your ip address to the network's ip address what are the things you are going through that is trace route 
क्लियर टू एवरी ओके माई वॉइस इज क्लियर राइट नाउ ओके ट्रेस रूट मीन्स दैट वेन एवर यू ट्राई टू ब्राउज एनी वेबसाइट और एनी सर्विस ओवर दी वेब इट गोज थ्रू अ पर्टिकुलर रूट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन मैनर ऑफ रोड फ्रॉम गोइंग टू पॉइंट फॉर गोइंग फ्रॉम पॉइंट ए टू पॉइंट बी यू नीड टू फॉलो सर्टन रोड फॉर गोइंग टू पुणे फ्रॉम मुंबई यू नीड टू सर्टन फॉलो सर्टन रोड अ पाथ जस्ट लाइक दैट If you are browsing a website from your IP address to the server's IP address or the website's IP address, you need the the this thing. The communication needs to be travel over certain route. Now, what routes the communication is traveling? It will be shown in the trace route. First, suppose you are using Airtel's internet. So first results in the trace route will be your Airtel's IP address. Then it will be the IP address of the internet gateway. Then it will be the IP address of the internet where it is being routed then the ip address will be of your of the web server where the website is hosted then the ip address of the website finally this is the trace route okay yes yes topology network uh, you can say topology means that uh, and you cannot say that it is a network diagram and topology uh, are same let me explain you topology in a clear manner yes okay topology means you can say uh, uh suppose if there is a website a server over on that particular server there are lot of services running okay now a topology you can say it is a kind of arrangement of all those elements okay if the server contains 50 uh servers so the arrangement of all those 50 elements can be termed as topology of the network okay yes architecture you can also say so topology is the whole thing and the mapper and the diagram is the way of showing all those things so drawing a network diagram of the topology you can say they are not same they are totally different yes the way they are they arrange the system through the network correct abdul okay now it's clear so drawing a network diagram is also very very important so we use different different drawing uh, this one the tools for uh, windows which will be doing in the practical so we will be picking out single single tools from every topic and then we will be doing the practicals in the next session now any questions anyone as we are finished with the theory of scanning network next topic we will be doing is enumeration so enumeration also same like this carrying a talk a uh, little bit of difference is there which we will be discussing in the next session after doing the practical of scanning networks and put printing and recognizes clear to everyone let me know in the live chat any further doubts if you did btech or bca or some kind of other technical courses you must have heard about Bus topology, ring topology, star topology, mesh topology, tree topology—all those things they are in the syllabus. Pen testing, well, pen testing we will not be covering. Or pen testing means the practical. In the best pen testing, we will be doing the practicals. no there is no specific tools for pen testing wait for the practicals i will be letting you know how to do that the actual tool which we will be giving you uh, uh will be on uh, when we will start the uh, this thing uh the vulnerability analysis module module number 
yes scanning is legal scanning doesn't matter actually there is no restriction in scanning but let me tell you do not try to scan any government website or military website it's it's illegal scanning government website or military website is illegal federal fbi cbi scanning websites of those departments is illegal If you are facing to configure network in a Wi-Fi in Kali Linux, purchase an adapter. You don't need to install any driver. Purchase a Wi-Fi adapter. Any users know whether our activities are legal or not? Well, it depends. You don't need to do anything, any permission. If you do without any proper permission, it's illegal. That's the only thing. I have problem installing Kali Linux. I will show you in the Telegram channel where I will show, where I will add the YouTube video where it is. The troubleshooting of the installation mission. Okay, everyone. So I'm having network issues here. So what we'll be doing is, this is all for today's session. And uh, now you can leave the class. The recording will be uploaded as soon as possible, and uh, you can view the recordings at the as the voice in the recording will be clear. Okay. Yes. Sorry. The uh, the forum link also. The forum link also I'm sharing in the group. So next session is on Monday. Be ready with your Kali Linux installed, and uh, then we will be doing the so thank you everyone for your patience now you can leave the class and have a good day